Pregnancy is stressful enough, between the infinite amounts of readings, to diet changes, to trying to keep the pregnancy pain away, it's a lot to take in. And when the pregnancy pain hits, anyone tries to find the best home remedies around. But be careful, because quite a few herbs can cause damaging or even fatal effects on pregnant women and their unborn children. Today we are going to have a look at 10 herbs to always avoid during pregnancy. Number 1. Wormwood. Wormwood or Artemisia annua is a herb native to Europe, but this aromatic herb can be found all over the world. It has traditional medicinal uses, but was banned from the United States until 2007 for its hallucinogenic properties. While it has been helpful for many people, it is incredibly unsafe for pregnant women to consume. The National Library of Medicine conducted a study that proved the harmful effects in pregnant rats, such as miscarriage, due to the presence of large amount of an ingredient called thujone. It's best to avoid it during pregnancy, and anything topical as well. Wormwood is typically used for IBS, indigestion, and heartburn in the form of a mixed tea. Number 2. Blue Cohosh. Blue Cohosh or Chlorophyllum phalactroids is a plant found in the Midwest and eastern parts of the United States and Canada. While is it beautiful, it is highly unsafe for pregnant women and children alike. For pregnant women, it has been shown to cause birth defects, highly toxic to the mother, and can induce uterine contractions. For children, if they eat the berries, it's incredibly poisonous. The plant is typically used to aid in women's health problems, in form of tea. Number 3. Jimsonweed. Jimsonweed or Datris dromonium is a plant in the nightshade family, whose leaves are commonly used to treat illness such as the flu or a cough. It's also regularly used as a hallucinogenic for recreational purposes, the components in it affect chemical messengers in the brain and the nerves. Due to its hallucinogenic properties, it's incredibly unsafe for the mother to ingest or child to consume from breastfeeding afterwards. Number 4. Boldo. Boldo or Pumas boldus is a unique plant typically found in the Andes Mountains, specifically Chile, and has had a long history of medicinal purposes for gallstones. Despite being used as a folk remedy, it is not exactly backed by traditional scientific research. However, due to a toxic compound in the plant, Ascaridol, it's considered dangerous to fetuses. Ascaridol is a toxic component known to cause heaps of negative health issues, so its presence in high amount in Boldo makes it unsafe. Number 5. Comfrey. Comfrey or Symphytum is a dark-rooted, flowering plant mainly found in moist grasslands throughout Europe, Asia, and the United States. For centuries, it's been used for inflammatory problems and scrapes. Despite of its long history, some researchers found it contains carcinogens, and has been linked to possibly causing liver damage. This has led to the plant being banned from multiple countries and being used as a topical cream, due to it absorbing properties into the skin. As for pregnant women, it's no different, and can cause severe liver damage which can lead to death. They contain up to 35 different species, so be aware of the possibilities. Number 6. St. John's Worth. St. John's Worth or Hypericum perforatum is a shrug native to Europe that is popularly used in tablets, teas, and topical care for mental illness treatments. Fun fact, it gets the name because it typically blooms around the birthday of biblical figure John the Baptist. Despite typically being used for treating depression and anxiety, it isn't the best for couples trying to get pregnant or for pregnant women. In very fractional doses, it can bring ill effects on the sperm and egg and potential genetic mutations that can compromise the pregnancy. Number 7. Saw Palmetto. Saw Palmetto or Serenoa repens is a palm, native to the southern parts of the United States and creates fruit from it. Oddly enough, it's mainly used for reproductive issues for both men and women. It can aid in issues such as urinary infections, enlarged prostate glands, and chronic pelvic pains in tablet form. Primarily for pregnant women, it's highly unsafe. Due to it aiding reproductive organs and issues, it acts as a hormone and can complicate the pregnancy. A study concluded that giving hormones to pregnant women can cause malformations in the fetus. Number 8. Golden Seal. 
Golden Seal or Hydrastis canadensis, is a plant native to the southeastern region of Canada and the eastern United States. It is mainly commercially made as a supplement for skin disorders, fevers, and even as a mouthwash for sore gums. Oddly enough, not much is known about the real benefits Golden Seal possesses. Although, due to a chemical compound within the plant, it's been shown to possibly cause brain damage in newborns and make breast milk toxic if consumed. Number 9. Yohim. Yohim or Pausanistalia johim is an alkaloid derived primarily from the bark of two African trees, and the bark contains a chemical called yohimbine that is commonly used for medical purposes. It also contains hydrochloride, a dangerous compound that makes it banned in some countries to use medically or recreationally. Studies claim it can be used as an aphrodisiac to some and a hallucinogenic to others. Due to this, it is advised that pregnant women stay away from it because if they consume, it might affect the uterus or poison the unborn child. Number 10. Pennyroyal. Pennyroyal or menthopulegium is a flowering plant typically found in Europe, North America, and the Middle East. It is technically in the mint family, so it's been used for folk remedies for centuries. However, many believe it's a toxic, outdated oil remedy. Despite the safety concerns, it's still used for a variety of medicines used to treat colds, pneumonia, and liver problems. The oil has been found to cause rapid onset of acute hepatic necrosis, or severe damage to the liver in pregnant women. It's even known as the herbal abortion tea, from a study by CUNY. It is important to read up on possible interactions with any herbs and pregnancy. While this isn't the entire list of potentially dangerous herbs to pregnant women, it is a good start.